Welcome everyone. So in this video, we are going to work with Postman client to make a REST API calls to our DNAC and create some object. Uh, this is the agenda so, and uh, five steps to create an object, any object, create or delete an object in DNA using OP API. Uh, so to create an object or perform any activity in DNA, you first you need to do the authentication because the authentication token has to be associated with each REST API calls to talk to DNA, uh, DNAC. Uh, so we'll, I'll show you how to automate that process so that you don't have to every time copy the authentication token, the large authentication token and associate it with your request. We'll see how we can pass on to the variable and perform that, uh, automate that job. So these are the five steps. Uh, you can take a screenshot for your future reference in this exercise, we are going to just uh, create a site within our DNAC. Um, so let me pull the DNAC. Right. So as you know, uh, APIs are all are listed under platform, developer toolkit and API. And these are the publish APIs uh, from DNAC. What we would like to do here is uh, we'd like to create a site and that means it's a post call and uh, if you click on create site it actually give you the um, URL uh, what URL to check and it also tell you the header uh, body uh, what, what is the schema to use and within this schema you can see there are a lot of placeholder values like strings and these things uh, which you need to replace based on what you want to configure so let's get started with uh, our Postman client. So this is my Postman workspace. Uh, I'm going to first create a new request. Or maybe <clears throat> just click a new request. Uh, first, we'll do, like to do authentication. So I'm going to do authenticate. So for that, I need a URL here. Let's go back to DNAC because DNAC is um, our source of truth for all the URLs. You can right. So this is a post call and uh, authorization. I want to authorize. I want to do a basic authentication. Uh, by default, I have saved my username and password, so I am not typing it, and just say send. And I got the token. All right, token. Uh, then I what I can do, I can save this request. I'm going to say save this as login, and I have a collection folder, which is uh, now I'm not going to use this, but let's uh, save it here. No problem. All right. Now what we have, so this is authenticated, and we have the token. Uh, very quickly, let's. Uh, perform another get request uh, I'll show you how to do a get tag so if you have to do a get device get device ID get the URL paste the URL in postman and then authorization say In header, say x auth token, and then copy the token. So you are what you are doing. You are sending a get request to get the list of all the devices within DNAC, and we are making a get call with to this URL. But you need to associate the token as well. So you associate it to the token and then say send. So right now I don't have any devices in my um, DNAC. That's why the response is null. Uh, but you can see the status is 200. That means the call was accepted and executed properly. So uh, in this, what is the problem with this is like every time you have to mention the token value and if the token value expired, you need to update this. So we'll see how we can automate this a little bit more. more. 
So for that, what you can do, you can create an environment. I'm going to say add environment and delete just a test environment and I'm going to add a variable called token and just say close all right now we have to get the token so for that what you can do you can go back to the authentication call uh, login change the environment change the environment to delete me and this time what you would like to do you would like to run a script uh, which we have uh, copied here in my okay so here you can see I have a JSON script which actually go to test paste the script and run the authentication one more time. Authentication may change, but what is the effect of it is, is this is passed to our authentication. So let's use another post call. We are not going to use a get call this time. Let's do a post and uh, load the environment. Environment is loaded, go to header and within this say x auth token choose the token variable and we need now we need the url what we would like to configure so we'll like to create a device so click on site post create site this is the uh, rest call we would like to make so get the url from BNAC, copy it, paste it here, and then since we want to create something, uh, we need to provide the model schema. This is the model schema uh, which uh, gives you allow you to create a site, building, and a floor. We don't want to go to that level. I just want to configure uh, a building. So <clears throat> here is our code. I just modified the code a little bit. Here is our code. This is the code what we would like to use. So if you copy this code and the syntax doesn't look good, you can go always go to a, any JSON validator like JSON editor online or JSON lint and validate your uh, JSON script. But uh, I'm going to just uh, copy and uh, paste it in border before you paste uh, you have to choose the format so I'm going to say raw format uh, with JSON application JSON and then paste right so now you are ready to log uh, send this call with authorization uh, headers xauth and the value is token variable and let's see let's see so it says execution ID, that means it has uh, accepted the call. Execution status, this is the HTTP call. Uh, most of the time what happen, it takes a little bit of time to create uh, the object. So you can, uh, it provide you this get call, which you can run and see the status. But <coughs> if uh, object is already created, you may see this message. So the best way to check if uh, what you intended to do is already happened is go to uh, the DNA dashboard itself. I'm going to enlarge it a little bit. Go to design and you can see that we have site global and we created a site USA just under it using Postman APIs. <coughs> 